The sun is up, it's a beautiful day My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Hello! Another day in my garden So this time, we're gonna talk about this beautiful gem in my garden these beautiful flowers so this is an iris flower for this uh, variety they call it german iris there are many types of iris flower but we're gonna talk about this german iris at first when we arrived here in the countryside this house our retirement house was being rented and when we arrived here, there are plants, there are already have plants here. But I decided to do it in my own way, to do it in my own style. So, these plants are already here, but they don't have flowers. And I was telling myself, oh, I need to remove these plants because it looks so messy to me. And my plan is to sort out the flowers with the sort them out into their varieties and you know just have a little order in my future garden and then I was thinking like I'll just leave it there this plant this side so I'll fix the others the other part of the garden first then I I can I will come back and fix this but there's a big but again <laughs> they start to bloom flowers are coming out so i'm thinking like maybe i just gonna wait until the flowers show up and see what happens and this is what i got i didn't know the name but i google it and it says there it's a variety of iris and for this color they call it german iris let's explore my german iris beautiful <laughs> and the thing is i discovered since you since you will notice that their flowers are so big we have to put a pole or a, like a stick to support the flower and they giving me heaps of flowers there are many colors of my uh, iris but i got this one this color and it's really a big surprise for me because I didn't know that this messy plant, I call it messy, this messy plant will give me a beautiful flower. So today, I'm gonna show you how to reproduce or how to plant an iris flower because I want to propagate this this uh, beautiful gem i want to have it more in my garden let's explore and learn how to plant and grow iris flower enjoy i Nor ponen sungang i hega dwesa. Me bon ya 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 ya. Ulo nor ya 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 ya. Ne mamul go be kario go. Taiming mamunen na. Kuron na rong bumi. As you can see, we have lots of iris plants here in our house. This is in another part of in another location, and this one is a shaded part. It's next to our garage. And you will notice they're, they're not having flowers because iris plant needs full sun to give us more flowers. So what we're gonna do now is we gonna I'm gonna show you how to plant an iris flower. And we will transfer it to a space where they will get lots of sun so they can give me lots of flowers. Let's do this. Now let us get some uh, seedlings, the iris seedlings. So I can just get like, I can get some of the seedlings here. 
it's easy to get because they're dried enough and you just get the the rhizome or the the bulb of the of the uh, iris plant let's do this I get this one, this one, and there is one more here. This. So we will use this, and we go on the other side of the of the garden, and I'm gonna show you how to plant this iris plant. So at least they'll go to the to a place where they will have lots of sun, and they can give me more flowers. By the way, before we go to the to the sp space where we're gonna plant this, let's clean up and make our iris plant ready for planting. So you have to remove all the dried leaves. Remove all the dried leaves of the iris. But make sure you're not removing the roots. So I got some roots in here. Make sure you don't remove the roots. And then remove the excess leaves like this you can cut it like that so this one is ready for planting let's get some more so remove the dry leaves you can remove the dry leaves so i have good roots here and then remove the excess leaves anyway they're gonna dry up so this one is also ready and i got so we're gonna plant three so you can see this one have a very good roots and long rhizomes this one is a lot better so i removed all the dried leaves and the excess so i got three seedlings ready to be planted on the sunny spot of my garden let's go and plant now let us plant the rhizomes so in this part of my garden they will get six to eight hours of full sun so the more sun they get the more flowers they're gonna give to me so in planting this you're just gonna dig not not deep enough because when you plant this, the, the, the roots will stay in the bottom and this will face up and you will not cover all of it. So only the roots. And you see, it's like that. Then let's plant the other one. You can make it like next to each other, but make sure that you will cover the roots. Make sure you will cover the roots and don't cover the whole rhizomes. Just make it sure that it will stand up like this. And this one, this big one, I'm gonna put it somewhere else here. Yeah. So I plan this part of my garden to be all these plants that will that grow in bulb so they're gonna go together here look at the other one that's got a, a yellow flower so you just cover it and make sure you will not cover the horizon it's like this just put a little bit of soil here so the remaining leaves will stand up oh mosses <laughs> they got heaps of mosses here and that's how it is it's easy so they you don't need to always water this iris plant and it's easy to plant it's a top plant you don't need to always water daily only once in a while when you think that it's too dry and that's it easy peasy hope you enjoy my tips on how to plant the iris iris flower oh and hopefully my plan is to collect more more colors because they're really good and they give me happiness once i see their 
each flower blossoming in my garden. Thank you very much for watching this video and hope you learned something from me and you are encouraged to do more gardening in your backyard. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe!